What's up guys, ViperFV here, and today we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to hook up the DJI Air Unit uh, to your flight controller. And uh, then what we're going to go ahead and do is show you what to enable in Betaflight, so you can go ahead and start setting up your DJI Unit. I would definitely suggest, um, if you um, purchase the DJI Unit, to go ahead and set up your Air Unit first, because you do need to power it on to set it up. So that's why we're going to go ahead and start this with this video. Uh, so I already actually have the flight controller already installed on the uh, quad um, and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and wire up your air unit. So your air unit will came with the camera and which is already connected to the air unit itself. And then it also has this little plug in on the back. So it's the only one it comes with. So you just go ahead and plug that in and then you'll have um, some wires here. You'll have your white, gray, uh, red, and black. And you'll also have two other wires too. Which, let me pull those over here. You also have yellow and like a brown. I actually removed this. So if you're not using the DJI uh, radio system, like the actual controller, you don't need these two wires. So I went ahead and removed them and then I saved them for future use later if I ever decide I wanted to go that way. Um, so I will show you guys how to hook up the radio as well. Uh, but I'm not going to actually solder it to the board, but I'll show you which pads that you can go ahead and use. Um, now getting on to the, um, air unit itself. So I already went ahead and, and wired up the, uh, positive and the negative onto the actual battery leads of my flight controller. Now, since this is a 4S quad, it means it's using up to 16.8 volts, uh, input voltage. This is fine up to 4S voltage. Anything above that, you will need to put a regulator on this and wire the power unit um, the two red and black wires too, uh, and then connect that par portion to your battery so it gets a reduced voltage. So anybody on 6S or 5S, unfortunately, you're going to have to use a BEC or like a Pololu uh, to go ahead and reduce the voltage. But since I'm using this on a 4S quad, I don't have to worry about it. And I did find when I wired this directly, like I wired this to the flight controller, um, I was getting a lot of brownouts and it was actually shutting off the air unit so I just go ahead and suggest it already has some filtering in it and I was already have a capacitor on my quadcopter to go ahead and just solder it to your battery leads to the um, connection where your battery will go to and that will probably be the most stable voltage uh, for your air unit so let's go ahead and show you what we're doing here since we already wired up the power now we have these two wires here we have the white wire which is UART receive the RX and then we have the gray wire, which is UART transmit. And then anytime you're hooking up like something like this, same thing applies for crossfire. You wire the RX pad to a U available UART on your flight controller that's TX. And then the same thing goes for UART TX. It goes to any available uh, UART uh, RX pad. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do, um, now it has to be on the same UART. So what I mean by a UART is right here we have UART 4 which is a TX pad, and then we have UART4, which is a receive pad. Now this flight controller is the Mamba F7 flight controller, and so you may have to make sure when you're wiring up these two wires here that you're using the same UART. You can't use U, like, you know, UART4 and 3, it has to be 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wire up our white um, UART wire here from the air unit, to the actual um, TX pad, which will be this first one right here. It says UART for TX. And then this one right here is going to be going right to, to the receive pad since this is the TX pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-tin these wires. And then I'm going to flip this over because this is the way I need my flight controller to be. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, pre-tin these wires here. I already went ahead and put some flux on them. Um, we're actually going to use these two right back here. So we're going to go ahead and do is... So let's go ahead and wire up and solder this. I already pre-tinned the wires off air real quick just to save some time. So like I said, the white wire is going to go to the TX pad. And then the gray wire is going to go to any available RX pad on the same UART. Let's go ahead and put that on. If you had these two wires here, you had the 
brown and then this yellowy wire. Pretty much what you'll do is this is the yellow is the DJI HDL. That's pretty much S bus. And then the brown is a signal ground. Most flight controllers do not have a signal ground. So what I would recommend is removing the wire like I did on the brown wire. Or you can go ahead and just roll it up and just put some letter tape around it or do whatever you want to do just to isolate it from any anything. But it's a ground pad and most flight controllers don't have it. So we're only going to worry about, since I don't have one on this flight controller either, I'm going to go ahead and put this to the S-Bus pad. So the S-Bus pad on my flight controller right here, let me take a closer look. My S-Bus pad right here is on this pad right here. So just wire up the S-Bus and then that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and put all this back together. We'll go on the beta flight real quick and I'll show you guys how to enable everything so it works. So we are in beta flight and the first thing I'm going to do for the receiver, um, since I'm using Crossfire, I have receive two enabled, but if you are using the S bus for the radio, you want to go ahead and uncheck, make sure nothing is checked and then go ahead and go to UART one on my flight, the flight control I used and then enable serial, serial receiver. But since I'm using Crossfire, I'm not using the DJI radio. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, my UART4 says MSP here. This is actually for my Bluetooth module that's actually on my flight controller. So it's actually um, particular to my flight controller. So you probably won't see this. Um, but if you uh, wired it up like I did onto the TX and RX of UART6, um, just go ahead and enable MSP. So make sure this box is checked. So once you're done with that, let's go ahead and click save and reboot. Now go back into the ports tab after it reconnects and um, make sure that everything's saved the correct way. So UART6 is checked for the MSP and then seal receive on mine for my crossfire receivers on UART2, so that's fine. And like I said before, if you are on the DJI unit and you used UART1, go ahead and enable the serial receive there. Now go ahead and go to your configuration page here one right there and scroll down to you see receiver right here make sure that serial base receiver is selected and then if you're running the DJI radio like I said before you want to go ahead and pick S bus I'm using crossfire since I, I picked crossfire CRSF so if you're using, using crossfire go ahead and use that but if you're using S bus go ahead and click on that uh, for DJI um, once you're done here just click on save and reboot And then you only have to do one more thing, and that's going to the CLI. And then we need to go ahead and go right here, and instead of saying set, we need to go put get S bus baud fast. I actually have mine on already. It should actually on yours probably be off. So then what you're going to do is go to set S bus baud underscore fast equals on. I'll go ahead and turn it on. And then you just go in here and type save and then you're all done. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give this video a like, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and uh, look forward to some future DJI videos where I'm gonna be setting the entire thing up and then finally doing my review on it. So I will see you guys in a future video. Peace.